Hello out to all you wonderful people. This is Andre the Game I Dig Guy. Thank you once again for lending me your time and your ear listening into another Gamer's Thoughts video. And I I don't normally talk about this stuff, but it's just something that kind of hits, hits home with me for a number of different reasons. And it's the Vic Mayana situation. The voice actor that voiced Broly for Dragon Ball Super Broly. He was also the original Broly voice. He voiced, voiced Crow from Ruby and... I believe he also voiced Edward Elric, if I remember correctly. So he, he's been around for a while. He's done a lot of voice acting. And from what I've heard of him, he's been generally, he's generally a nice guy. So I'm, I guess you could say I'm sort of a fan of his. I mean, I was a fan of his work more than a fan of him because I've never really known of him as the person. Just I've known of the characters he's played. So... <clears throat> Knowing all that, I'm separating my own bias from this situation and thinking outside of it. Now, Vic is under heavy accusations and allegations for, I guess, was it, uh, let's say, <laughs> I'd say some sort of physical abuse, um, invaded, like, I guess, I'd say physical abuse, um, molestation charges, uh, like this quite a few things that are just levied against him and me personally looking at the situation I don't know like there's nobody who knows what those situations entailed other than the people who were actually there only thing I know of right now is that there is a lot of stuff that's been cropped up that has been verified to be false information against this man and there are plenty of claims out there like doesn't mean all of them are false, but there does mean that some of them have definitely been falsified and there has been evidence of a group of people or someone suggest suggesting in a Facebook group to modify pictures and Photoshop stuff to make make the pictures look worse than what they are, considering the situation and people feeling and looking awkward. So I've looked into some stuff. I've checked out some people's videos. There are a couple that I'll probably link down and not link in the description. I'll probably leave the link down below for people to to just go check those videos out themselves. Um, anything about this situation, I'm going to say first and foremost, don't go into it looking to harass anybody. And don't go into the situation causing trouble for anyone. Like whether you're doing it on the side of Vic or not, like don't go into this situation causing any trouble if you're looking into it to look into it for information do just that if you want to support Vic that's on you but if you're going to support him doing it in a peaceful way because that's how he's been asking people to handle things he's come upon the fact that people have been harassing uh Monica Rial who is the current voice of Bulma and she's done other voice work and stuff and there's a there's an odd situation with the two of them, like where she's claimed that he's done things to her, but she's been working with him on and off in different projects for a very long time. And even a few months back made a reply to a post he did for the people, the voice actors that were a part of the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. So she like she made like a reply that had a kissy face emoticon on it. And it's just like, OK. The, like there's a there's a lot of stuff that's suspicious with this situation. Like, and I'm a firm believer that if he actually did do anything, then criminal charges should have been pressed. Like, that's what should have happened. Anyone who felt like he violated them in any way should have gone to the police. That's what they should have done. There's nothing <clears throat> saying that he would have been found guilty of it because honestly, from what I've seen. I don't think he would have been found guilty <laughs> to be fully honest. I was like thinking in a lot of situations, it just may have been a misunderstanding. Like the dude sees hundreds and if not thousands of people when he's at a con, it's easy to get things mixed up or to do something that somebody's uncomfortable with and not know it. I'm not saying that's an excuse, but at the same time, like, it's easy to have that happen and not realize that, especially if no one says anything. Like, if you are uncomfortable with somebody putting their arms around you to hug you, or if you're uncomfortable with them coming to give you a kiss on the cheek, say so. 
say so. Like, yeah, and we're like, not gonna understand being starstruck. I'm not even gonna lie, I can understand being starstruck. You, you're caught in a moment, so you're not thinking about everything, and things can happen pretty quickly. But if nothing has happened to be to personally affect you in a horrible way, which I'm honestly, I'm leaning towards that because of when a lot of these allegations popped up, even though I've seen on some comment sections of videos that there have been things being said about Vic for a long time. Like, but my thing is why were there no criminal charges pressed? And I'm not expecting everybody to just do it immediately right out the gate. No, I, I wouldn't expect that. But like, especially if you're in shock of the situation, you, you, it's just something that happened and you come to realize it later that you didn't like it. Fine. Go ahead and press charges then. Because at the, at, at the very worst, he could have been jailed. But at the same time, he would have learned back then that people weren't comfortable with it. He would have learned a long time ago that people weren't comfortable with it. Like, but instead, people are saying that he's harassing and going out like he's harassing and violating people's bodies and their space and stuff. Like, but if you've known that this has been going on, you've known for a long time that this has been going on. And this also applies to Monica Real. Like, if you've known that this has been going on for a long time. You've known this. One, where did where is your evidence? Where is your proof that it's actually been happening? Because most of the stuff that I've seen online is just people being awkward in pictures. And a lot of those pictures were consensually asked for, which is the ridiculous thing. Like you don't pose for a picture. Like, okay, you're not gonna pose for a picture like that if you didn't ask for it. But like now, if you wanted to just pose with, with him for a picture and then he get he planted a kiss on your cheek and you didn't ask him to do that. Fine. You could have said something like or, or you could have gone ahead. It's like, yeah, I wasn't comfortable with this. There were a lot of ways to handle this without it becoming public thing, a public thing first. There were a lot of ways to handle this without it becoming a big, massive social media thing first. And then now, like Funimation and Rooster Teeth has basically like they've canned him. Honestly, I think what they should have done is just suspended things with him not fully remove him because pending an actual lawful investigation like you don't know what the results are going to be so firing him terminating him preemptively honestly i think was a mistake but it's their choice and i understand why they did it as a business it's probably better for them to just say hey okay we gotta cut you loose is better for them in the long run. Like, yeah, right now they'll catch a lot of flack for it, but in the long run it's better for them. The unfortunate thing is, if all of this is false, they've now caused a schism against themselves because they were so quick to get rid of him and take him off of every project. Like, he's been kicked off cons and stuff like that. And, like... It's one of those things where I'm looking at it like, if this stuff is true, yes, it's deserving that this happens. But if it's not true, then he's being punished for something he didn't do and or being punished for a simple misunderstanding. And I don't think that's right. But again, though, like all of these people, like you claim, like there's so many people claim, like so many... Th- people that this uh, apparently happened with or things happened to why did none of you press criminal charges and for Monica Real, Real that's even worse like you've worked with him for years like so I, I'm sorry I, it doesn't make sense to me that you would hang around him like granted if you okay granted something happens and you didn't want to say anything I I guess I can understand that because you don't want to deal with the embarrassment of it or a lot of stress that may come from it. I can understand that. But then why would you hang out and hang around him and and outside of working? Outside of working. I don't understand that. It makes no sense to me. Because that doesn't sound like somebody who's been abused by this person or being abused by this person. That sounds like someone 
who, hey, like, yeah, I felt like this was a genuine friend. Like, we work well together. That, that to me, is what it sounds like. And then, they're, like, I've heard things about there's, like, they acted like they were really close when they did con- when they were on panels together at cons. So it's like, again, if he's abusing you, and you again, you know this is wrong. Why not go to the police? This could have been handled years ago. Before now, before a big movie blow up, before his name becomes extreme, even more famous. Like this could have been handled back then and he wouldn't have been in the positions that he's been in, in the managerial positions or production positions that he had before. He would not have had all that stuff. And yes, there are voice actors that take on more roles at the companies that they work with other than just being a voice. So, and knowing that, knowing that Vic did a lot of that stuff, like, and now he's lost those jobs. And it's seemingly, seemingly Monica Rial has gained those jobs. It's not a good look. It is literally not a good look. Because that brings into play, like, there's a motive to defame this person. And that, like, that's another thing to consider. But, like, but all his, his character has been horribly ruined now. Like, his character as a person has been ruined like, like scarred in a way that he more than likely will not be able to recover from, even if he's proven to be innocent of the claims. Like he's, he's literally just been run through the the meat grinder at this point. And there's nothing he can do about it other than clearing his name. But even clearing his name is not going to get rid of the stigma that has now been placed on him. It's not going to get rid of it. And that's anguish that he's going to have to deal with for the rest of his life, no matter what the results of any trial of any kind are. Like, that's what's going to happen. Like, that's literally what he's going to have to deal with. Like, and his accusers likely will not get any punishment of any kind. And that, again, I feel like that's unfair. Like, if you're accusing somebody of so many things and and it's proven that it's incorrect or it's wrong, you should be punished for it. But, but the likelihood of that is slim to none nowadays. It's just because of the way the culture of the world is and this, this culture of, I feel like I've been abused, so I've been abused. When... Maybe you just felt uncomfortable with the situation and hearing all these other people add things to it has warped your thought process of your memories. And it can happen. It's not like it's hard to manipulate people's thoughts into making them think that they think something that didn't happen happened. It's it's highly possible to do it. Just as it is the other way around, too. Like I'm saying, like the possibility is there. Like there, the, yeah, there are a couple of videos I, I know people need to really check out. Like, but just in from my standpoint of it, like, and being that I have children, I wouldn't want somebody to put my name out like that in that way and slander me to the point where it ruins basically my life and livelihood because then that affects my kids. It affects my family. And I wouldn't want that to happen to their mother either. It's just, it's not something that you want to have happen. And people may think of it as, oh, well, I'm only really affecting him. But like, no, you're not just affecting him. You're fe- you're affecting essentially anyone who depended on him as well. So, like, yeah, well, granted, I believe, yes, if he's done something wrong and it can be proven that he's done something wrong with evidence that shows that. Then he needs to be behind bars. That, that there's no two ways about that. But. If he hasn't actually done anything. I don't believe he should be getting tortured like this. And that, that's what this is for a lot of guys. This would be torture. 
because you're constantly after this point, he's constantly going to fear human interaction. He may not say it openly, but it's going to be in the back of his head. Like, I said hello to this person. Are they going to claim I did something to them? It, it's causing, it causes more trust issues. It causes a lot of worry, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. And it's going to put him in a position where he may just up and completely quit everything. And it's simply because he won't be able to be himself anymore. Like, and there are some people who are just very tactile. They like to get in close with people and touch people. It's not that they are malicious or they have bad intent. It's just how they are as people. Why? Like, because that touching, that connection makes them feel like they're actually giving something to you or getting closer to you or, and, and interacting with you properly. It shows for them, it feels like it, it gives them a, a way to show you that they are paying attention to what you're saying, that they are paying attention to you, that they're giving you themselves. Like, but a lot of people can also be told, like, no, I'm just not comfortable with that. Please take a step or two back. It's not, it's not always going, it's not something bad to say that to someone. It's not bad to say that if you feel uncomfortable, like, hey, look, I'm just, just, I don't feel comfortable with this. Can we, like, not be, like, up under each other? Like, I'm cool with a pat on the shoulder or something or that, like, but not the close in hugging and pulling and shit. I don't think that that would be offensive to anyone. Like that wouldn't be like, and it would save a lot of this trouble and a lot of this drama and keep people from having these situations now where we can't just be people. Like you're always going to be looking out over your shoulder to see who's trying to get you now. And that's what he's got to deal with. That's what he's going to have happening for the rest of his life. That's what's going to be on his shoulders. No matter what the outcome is of any sort of court cases or any sort of trials. That's what he's going to deal with. And for the again, for the people who claim that he's been doing this stuff for years and you've known about it. And if you actually have proof of it. To me. You are an accomplice to the situation simply because you would not say anything and you had knowledge of it. You were enabling it. You were helping it happen. Whether you want to play victim or not, you were helping the situation happen. You were allowing it to go on so that more people had to deal with it. If it is proven that Vic Mignogna was actually harming people. You were helping it because you had knowledge of it and you didn't speak up about it because you had knowledge of it and you didn't go to the police about it because you had knowledge of it and you allowed it. That in my mind, that makes you an accomplice that makes you just as bad as him if he is proven to be guilty. That makes you just as bad as him. And honestly, I think you should be put in jail too. And you should have to go through the same things as well. Because that was, act in this situation, that would be appropriate. For anyone that claims that they knew what was going on and wouldn't say a word. And, and like you say you have proof. You all deserve the same thing. Because you allowed it. The excuse of, oh, I was hoping this was only a one-time thing makes no goddamn sense whatsoever. If you feel like he violated you and you don't know him, what makes you think he wouldn't do it to someone else? That's a horrible excuse. 
That is a fucking horrible excuse. And that's something that shouldn't even be tolerated. If you had knowledge of this man doing some wrong and you knew he was doing wrong, you should have said something. You should have gone to the proper authorities and done something about it instead of allowing it to continue. And that to me is a worse crime. That to me is a worse crime because you had knowledge of the shit going on. Whether or not you believe this man is mentally ill or whatever, it, it doesn't make a fucking bit of difference. You have to say something. You have to step up and speak up about it. You have to do something. If you feel like he is doing wrong and he is harming people, he is harming the fans of the shows and stuff that you work on. He's harming the fans of the conventions and things that you go to and that you are there as a part of. You should say something. Not sit back and say, oh, well, I didn't think anything would come of it. No, no, no. Like, doesn't matter if he's proven guilty or not. You should say something. This should have been criminally charged and it should have been taken care of a long time ago. It shouldn't have gotten to the point where we're now having all this drama crop up and you have literally the like fan base of anime basically split on this. Mostly because there are people that are just too set in the damn ways to fucking take a second to think about the situation as a whole. And then there are people, again, trying to create false evidence. If you feel like you are in the right and this man has horribly done something, then you don't need to fake evidence. You just need to have the real evidence. That's it. That's all you need. You just need the real evidence. That, that's literally it. You just need the real evidence. And again, for Monica Real, like, honestly... I think she should lose everything that she has. Just simply put, if he's guilty of any of the things that she's claiming he's guilty of, <clears throat> that means that she knew what was happening. She knew what was going on with other people and she wouldn't speak up as a person who has the clout. You of all people should have been one of the first to step up and say something. Like, but no, you pretended to be friends with this man. You were buddy buddy with him. So if that's the case and you knew what was going on, I don't consider you a victim. You're an accomplice. To anyone, you're an accomplice. Again, because you knew what was happening and would not say shit. So you, um, you enabled this behavior, you enabled these actions, and you allowed it to continue. And you allowed other people to have to suffer through it because you wouldn't speak up. That's fucking ridiculous. That's ridiculous. But you know it's wrong. Step up and say something. You are in a position of power to say something. So say something. That's it. Th this should have been criminally charged. Like I'm, I'm like I. That's my biggest point. This should have been criminally charged long ago. It shouldn't have been passed off as oh, I just hope it wouldn't happen again to anyone else. Again, Blake, that's that's not logical. That really, it truly is not logical. If somebody did something to you, they did this thing wrong to you. What makes you think they wouldn't do it to someone else? That's simply it. And it's not about people disliking him. I don't give a damn if you dislike him. <laughs> like, I really don't care. You can dislike me for all I care. It doesn't make a difference to me. What makes a difference is right and wrong. Like if he was in the wrong, then he needs to be punished for it. But if you knew he was doing wrong and you wouldn't say anything, you need to be punished too. That's simply it. That's how I feel about it. They're like the people that knew that this stuff was happening and did not come out and say something and they did not take it to the police. They should be punished just as well. But if this man is completely innocent and these people are making false accusations against him, then yes, of course, again, I feel like they should be punished. Like there's no two ways about that. Like if you knew about it going on, you should be punished for it. 
And, and I'm not talking about the people who didn't know, who didn't have the, an inkling of this happening. But like, there's nothing you could do about it. Like, if you didn't know, you didn't know. But like, or people who who have just recently had an uncomfortable experience with him and said something. Okay. I'll give you that. Like, your you're recent, I can understand why you wouldn't think that a whole lot was happening. But at the same time, again, you should have gone to the police. I'm not going to give that one up. You should have gone to the police. There should have been a criminal case started on this. There should be a criminal record on this. And that's a problem. That is a huge problem. There should be a criminal case on this. And that is my biggest issue with all this. Is that there should be a criminal case. So, and and like, and that's just ridiculous that I, I can look him up and I can't find anything. I can't find any sort of criminal case. I can't find any of that at all. I, I don't feel, I don't see any criminal records. None whatsoever. No criminal records at all. And I'm looking, I'm literally actively searching right now. Nothing. All I'm finding is news networks making claims. I'm literally not finding any sort of criminal record. Nothing that says that this man actually did some of this stuff. Nothing. No records that claim it at all. All I'm finding is all of this news crap. I'm like, yeah, news networks can be wrong. That's not a new concept. That's not a new concept. What I'm sitting here looking through and I'm not finding jack squat that says, okay, we have this on file. Because criminal records are public. Criminal records are public. So there should be some sort of criminal records for all the sexual harassment and stuff like that. Why is none of this on file as a criminal record? That's what I'm asking. There is literally nothing on here whatsoever that has any sort of criminal f- charges filed at all. Nothing. That's my biggest issue with this. Like that from the get go should have been taken care of for all of the supposed victims involved. That should have been taken care of. And without that, you make yourself less believable. And I'm not one to just quote unquote, listen and believe because literally in the middle of the word believe is the word lie. So if you're telling me to just believe you, Because you're a quote unquote survivor. Where is the proof of it? That's all I'm asking for. That's all you literally need to put this man in jail. To get him away from everyone else. If you feel like he is harming other people. And that's what should have been done. That's my biggest irritation with this. Because I would not want somebody to... Have been, I, I would not want somebody to know that a person is assaulting somebody or, or have sexual misconduct with people, and then this person meets my children and something happens to one of them. I'd want to kill the person that did it and the person that knew about it. Simple as that. There's no, there's no two ways about it. The only thing I can really find outside of the news reports is all the stuff that's actually been proven to be false. So make what you will of that. (laughs) Like you can make what you will of it. Like I'm not saying he's innocent. I'm not saying he's guilty. All I'm saying is the situation looks awfully suspicious. The timing of it. The fact that Vic loses a lot of important positions and, and a lot of voice acting gigs Like something to me feels like there was something else going on behind the scenes and Vic probably pissed somebody off and him pissing someone off turned into this whole media storm. So that that's really it. Like that's that's my perspective on it. That's my opinion. I'm not saying it's right, like, but I'm saying in all likelihood, that's probably the case. 
But I'm done with this. I'm not going to say anything else about it. I'm not going to harp on it anymore. You will not get another video out of me about this because I'm not going to discuss it any further. Like, I've said my piece on it. And if Vic is innocent, I hope that that's proven. If he's guilty, I hope that that's proven. And if he is guilty, I want criminal charges brought up and for him to go to jail. Like, whether or not I like the characters that he's played or acted as, if he has been harming people, he needs to go to jail. If he has not been harming people, then a lot of people owe him, one, he's owed a massive apology, and two, he's owed a lot of money for all the crap that he's gone through. But that's it. Thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears out for more stuff from me. And until the next time, please enjoy your games and peace out.